everyone. Welcome back from spring break. I hope you all had a, a moment to just uh, not have to do a whole bunch of work and just got to relax a little bit and enjoy family time in your house or in your backyard or um, take a little break to take a little walk. So we are back. I'm Mrs. Galvan, the superintendent of Greenfield School District, and I'm really excited to continue to read to you. So in Espanol, Hola comunidad de Greenfield, yo soy Superintendente Galván, aquí otra vez leyendo libros para otra semana para que ustedes puedan uh, disfrutar con nosotros. Ojalá que ustedes tenían una, un descanso, una semana de descanso um, con sus familias en sus casas, alrededor de su casa atrás, uh, con, con, con sus niños. Y gracias por uh, atender otro libro con nosotros. So thank you everyone for being here again. So today, and this week, it's going to be a mix of a bunch of different favorite books based on some comments that we heard. So this one is Splat the Cat. How many of you have heard of Splat the Cat? Splat the Cat is super funny. He's similar to Pete the Cat, but he's Splat the Cat. And today he says, thank you. So we're gonna talk about how do we use our voice to say thank you to the wonderful people that are doing things for us. I want you, when you get on the phone, say thank you teacher for helping me do my work or thank you for caring about me. I want you to tell your mom and your dad, thank you. Thank you for making me a snack to eat. Thank you so much. And I want you to say thank you to the people who care about you at school. If you come to school um, in your car, your parents come to pick up your lunch, say thank you to our cafeteria workers and our bus drivers that are taking food um, to the people that don't live in town. So Splat the Cat says thank you. So let's see what he says. Splat the Cat by Rob Scotton. Here we go. Splat was worried. He was worried about Seymour because he hadn't smiled all day. He was covered in spots and not feeling well. This isn't right, thought Splat. How can I make Seymour smile? There's Seymour. He's not feeling too well. Splat pulled a book from the drawer and showed it to Seymour. I made it for you, Splat said. I call it a friendship book. Oh, that's so sweet. Splat opened the book and it began quite simply. For Seymour, the best mouse I know. Seymour sneezed. Achoo! Splat turned the page and began to read aloud. When I was scared to try out for the school play, you encouraged me to do it anyway, said Splat. Thank you. Oh, look, one of his friends told him, you can do it, come on, you can do it. And so he did. That's really nice of friends to do that. And when Mrs. Wimpy Dimple gave me the lead role, I couldn't have learned my lines without you. So thank you, Splat continued. And when I laughed so hard at Plank and I forgot my lines, oh no, that happens. You helped me remember them. So, thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought he was just about to smile, but he sneezed instead. Ha, ha, when I broke my mom's favorite ornament, you fixed it for me, said Splat, except somehow mom noticed and I had to have a bath and go to bed early. Thank you anyway, you tried to help me. When I had a bath and my toe got stuck, you knew exactly what to do. Thank you. He used soap to get his toe out of there, make it slippery. And when I went to bed early, you sneaked me a flashlight so I could read my book, said Splat. Mm -hmm. Thank you, friend. The book is Secret Agent Cat. The case of the missing ducks. Sounds fun. Maybe you could do that when you're having fun. Get a blanket or a sheet and cover it and make it look like it's kind of cool. Like you're maybe you're camping, but you're camping in your house. That seems like a really fun thing to do with the flashlight in a book. You should try that. When I overslept the next morning, you woke me up so that I wasn't late for school. Look how he woke him up with a horn. Honk! Look at his eyes. He got a little cross-eyed. Uh, thank you. <laughs> that was kind of loud. When I borrowed my brother's 
kite and we played for hours. You made it so much fun. Thank you, said Splat. And when I climbed a tree to rescue my brother's kite and I got stuck, oh my gosh, he got stuck. You rescued me. Thank you. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that he had a smile, but he hiccuped instead. Yep. Splat read on. He thought he got a smile out of him, but it wasn't. When I pretended I was speeding through the space in our rocket ship, about to be the first cat on the moon, and Spike passed me in a faster rocket ship and tried to become the first cat on the moon instead of me, you told me, space cats never give up. And so I did it, continued Splat. Thank you, friend, for cheering me on. Splat looked at Seymour and thought that Seymour was sure going to smile this time. Can you see his face? But Seymour just scratched and tickled his ear instead. Scratch. So Splat said, okay, I'll read some more. When I told you my biggest secret, you didn't tell anyone. Thank you. And when Spike gave Kitten a bigger Valentine card than the one I gave her, and you knew how to make me feel better. Thank you. And when my little sis was covered in spots and not telling anyone that she wasn't feeling well, you made her smile. Thank you. And when I covered, when I was covered in spots and not feeling well, you made me smile. Thank you. You are my smallest friend and my biggest, he added. And I just want to say thank you. Wow, that was a really nice story today. Splat says thank you. So boys and girls, I really hope you take a moment um, to say thank you to the people who are taking care of you right now, whether it's school people or home people. So I am Superintendent Galvan with the Greenfield Union School District. Still enjoying these read-alouds. I hope you are too. Sending you a great big bear hug from our family to yours. <laughs>